Right, so next up, we have someone from Sweden. And actually, it's a bunch of composers who, who came up with this app called Gestrument. And, and um, this is a wonderful thing. Another wonderful thing that happens in this space is that often some of the tech, some of the best that comes out comes from artists who use stuff, who actually think up ways in which they could perform and they could compose. And in this case, it was a bunch of composers. Um, and um, this app was developed in Stockholm over the past couple of years uh, by some people who actually do m major compositions and commissions all over the world. Um, so not like a bunch of little geeks sitting in a room, but some really great people involved in this. And the person who's going to tell you all about it is Jonas Chelberg. A big round of applause. Hello, everybody. Nice to be here in lovely Umeå. Uh, so it's uh, the first time I'm uh, this far north in Sweden, even though I'm 29 years old. So it's quite nice to be here. Uh, okay, so uh, what I'm going to show you is gestrument. <laughs> What you saw there was like an excerpt of a demo video uh, uh, featuring the beautiful sounds of a sound font uh, of the general MIDI standard. So it has MIDI out as well, which sounds way better when you have your own sounds, of course. Uh, so my name is Jonas Schelberg, and uh, I'm sort of like the uh, go-to uh, dude in uh, this uh, project. Like the, the main developer or inventor of this is called uh, Jesper Nordin uh, and he's a Swedish composer, he does a bunch of things um, music like this basically and uh, what he did was uh, to uh, he uh, had this Wacom pad that he uh, would use with a Max MSP patch and would use as a compositional tool basically uh, and then eventually figured that I'm going to make this into uh, uh, an instrument that anyone can get and play with. Um, and it's developed, the main developer is uh, Jonathan Liljedal. Uh, and for uh, you guys that do any kind of music using uh, iPhones or iPads, uh, you probably own a few of his apps. Uh, he's the guy for that. And uh, me, myself, I mostly make uh, the boring stuff for these projects, like uh, uh, user manuals, presets, stuff like that. Uh, and I've also made this uh, Kinect to Gestrument Converter app, which I'm going to show you later, so that you don't have to uh, use your finger to play it. Um, so let's see here. So basically, you have uh, a musical grid. And uh, pitches on the y-axis, rhythm on, or like note lengths on the x-axis, uh, pretty basic. Um, a bunch of sliders that control different things, uh, how mu much the note triggers, uh, rhythms and stuff like that. And you can uh, morph between different scales um, and have up to eight voices. And MIDI out, of course, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, like the idea was that I was gonna film my phone playing it a, a bit, but I don't think you're gonna see anything when it's this sunny out. So uh, it's super straightforward, um, and you can uh, like uh, 
Maybe you can see a bit like this. So uh, I'm just gonna. A little bit of piano there. Um, and since we had uh, Kung Fury released the other day, uh, here is a priest called 80s Attack. Yeah, you get the idea of that. Um, bit of a drum machine going on here. Uh, we also have this other cool app. I think this is the next slide. No, this is the settings page. Uh, basically, you can have a, a ton of different uh, scales and uh, put them in yourself. Uh, each voice can have their own range and rhythmic patterns and stuff like that. Um, so there's this other app called ScaleGen, uh, and th this video is a bit long, so I'll skip a bit in it. Um, so it's an app where you uh, can uh, basically generate really complex scales. Not this one, of course. It's quite simple, but. Um, so you can shift uh, the tuning of each note, and uh, there's a huge library of scales, of course. Um, and uh, you can also do stuff like an overtone scale, uh, if you're that kind of composer. And uh, another nice thing is that you can import MIDI files and generate scales from that. Which you can then um, import into JustRent and play that scale in the tool. Basically what that allows you to do is to uh, make these cool remixes of... Uh, basically you play the what we call the musical DNA of that tune. Um, let's see if I can sort this out. Hopefully this is long enough. So uh, we also... Uh, did a few projects like uh, where you use your body to control the instrument instead, which is a lot of fun. And uh, we had a project with school children, which didn't work out that well, actually. But uh, no, it was fun to see them play with it. But uh, let's see here. And just uh, last weekend, actually, uh, I had a big project with uh, the Circus College in Stockholm, where we did like a one and a half hour show, where each student's uh, discipline of Circus was sonified using four Kinect cameras and a few of these apps, uh, which was a pretty cool thing. Unfortunately, I didn't get any video of that yet, uh, but... It's a very simple way of doing sonification. Uh, so let's see what's next here. Yeah, this is just a scale thing here.
Uh, that was just a short e excerpt of that thing we did with uh, the children. Um, uh, so what I thought we could do is get um, get some of you guys up here and try the connect thing. I just need to get it set up, unfortunately. Um, so this is a photo of the circus. I'm not sure you can see it. Of a handstander. Uh, okay, so let's tab out of here. And start this one. And Let's see here. Was this not working? Disconnected. So yeah, you can come closer and uh, play with the camera while I set this thing up. If you feel like it. Uh, there it is. Um, I think it's getting a bit of uh, noise from the sun as well. So I swear this worked at the hotel room, of course. That's connected, okay. Um, I need to restart that. You're supposed to move a bit. <laughs> Sure, sure. Uh, actually, this version of the thing tracks the, the biggest blob of the... <laughs> so you can have a fight. With uh, this Kinect software, uh, you can actually have uh, four cameras running at once. And uh, basically, it's just sending out uh, MIDI uh, controller data. So you can actually control whatever with the Kinect program. See if I can change setting here. So could you step out quickly and I'll change again?
off. I'll change sound again. Okay. So we're currently uh, developing uh, an updated version of this, the Justrument 2, which will have uh, like up to 10 finger polyphony and each can control I think 16 voices. So you could basically have uh, say uh, a computer session where you have uh, where you have a whole orchestra mapped out and uh, basically control uh, a whole musical piece by that. So the way that Jesper writes his music is that he uh, just records all the MIDI and then uh, cleans it up, uh, among other things, of course. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. Thank you all very much.